Hi, my name is Lillian, and for my class assignment, I am doing candles, um, which is a service that I provide at least once a year. It is a free service. Um, I normally provide candles for different um, charity events, which the candles are auctioned off. Um, for different events, one being to feed the homeless. Um, and there you have it. So what I'm going to be doing is demonstrating how I make candles, which I absolutely love. I find it to be um, very therapeutic and um, it's just fun. It's just plain fun. And I have been doing candles since 2011. And like I said, I absolutely love it. It allows me to be creative um, and it allows me to be able to bless others. So um, here we go. The first thing that I do is um, you have your candle glass here and then you have your wick and you have to adhere the wick uh, to the glass. And um, you use a silicone adhesive to do that. So you just put a little bit um, on the bottom of the wick here. Just squeeze it in there like so. And put it in there. And it's important that you make sure that it's centered. So normally what I do in order to make sure that it's centered, I take a little, I want to say a popsicle stick, but okay. <laughs> but anyway, I take that and that I, I push it down in order to make sure that it's you know pushed all the way down and then you want to make sure that it's centered so you know you look at it really good and I've been doing this since 2011 and so I'm pretty good at centering them but anyway you know you just want to make sure it's centered there and now you're ready to um, get ready to prepare your wax, your fragrance. Well, let me just say, in order to make candles, there are some things that you need here. You need, of course, your container, you need your wick. Unless you're doing um, a pillar candle, you wouldn't need the um, container. Um, I use soy wax, and um, here are some samples. Uh, this is the square container that I do. This is an eight ounce. And what I love about making candles is I get to do them in all these fun colors. So whatever color I'm filling or whatever it is that I want to do, um, I absolutely love it because I'm able to just play with the colors. And this particular candle is an apple butter caramel mixed with peppermint. Mm, it smells really, really good. You'll notice that it has a double wick. It's a square container um, because you, you need to have... Um, you know the wicks there to support the wax otherwise one wick would not work with this for this container now this is the seven ounce and this is pretty standard the container that I normally use and you have your one wick there and this one is a eucalyptus and um, I'm able to get all type of fragrances so like my favorite one of my favorites is uh, grapefruit which smells really, really good. And this is the grapefruit here. And um, mm, I'm having more fun smelling them. But anyway, this is the, the grapefruit. And as you can see, I have lots here, like Ocean Breeze and the Blue and Fresh Linen. And for the humor line, I actually have uh, a monkey farts. Monkey farts smell so good. Mm, I wish you could smell this. It smells really delicious. It doesn't stink and it smells good. I mean, it really, really, really smells good. It's like you can eat it, right? Um, so that's monkey farts. And then I have like the cool water, um, ocean breeze, apple butter caramel. And then you have cherry, which is in a gray. And like I said before, what I love about it is that you can play with the colors, whatever you want, you know. 
Um, today I'm going to be making an apple butter caramel and I've chosen to do the apple butter caramel in a real pretty fuchsia color. Um, and that's the fun of it. You know, you get to think outside of the box. And for those traditional people who want it to be red, you can have it red. Um, but you just get the chance to think outside the box. But the other thing is um, there are also tea lights. Some cute little tea lights. And these are like really nice, really fun to make. And... Um, with the tea lights, though, you, you really only need like just one, um, one little ounce and, um, of, of just the wax and it's like a 0.1, um, for your fragrance. It's really, really easy, really good. Um, okay. So we're going to get going on making candles. Hey, back again. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with making candles. All right, so there are a few things that you need when you're making your candles. You have to have your, your heat warmer. This is your little black pot. You need a thermostat. Your thermostat, um, when you get ready to uh, pour the candle into your cute little container here, um, it has to be at one, 170, okay? And um, you have a scale to measure your wax and your fragrance. And as I said earlier, we are doing apple butter caramel, okay? And then you have your color block here. You can also do uh, liquid wax as well, or color, I'm sorry. And um, so we have the candle glass here. The wick is all ready and it's adhered to the glass here. And a good old fashioned clothespin. And you just put that through the hole there and stick that onto, stick it on top of the glass and clamp the other end of the wick through the mouth of the, the pen. That holds it in place. It holds it in place holds the wick in place so that it's not all over the place and it's right in the center where you want it when it gets hard and when it's at its end result like this, okay? So what we do, I'm going to check here to see we're still way up. We got to let it get a little too hot, so we're going to have to wait a minute for that. But while we're waiting, we're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to show you how to shave the color block. Now, you can shave as much as you want. You can just do a little bit. For me, um, I just kind of go with the flow. It just depends on how I'm feeling. That's that creative side, you know, where you say, oh, do I want to make it darker? Do I want it lighter? Or, you know, I just want to play with it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start shaving that. And now, don't cut yourself. You just. Shave a little bit off there. And uh, this is a really, really pretty color. It's actually a magenta. Okay. Uh, and it's really, really pretty. Really pretty. And I'm putting a little more than maybe I anticipated wanting to put. But I really want you to be able to see the color. Okay, so the other thing, while we're waiting on this wax to get ready, I'm going to talk about the, um, you know, the, the benefits and the features uh, to making candles. And again, it is a uh, more of a, a charity type thing that I do uh, for auctions. And um, the, the, the thing for me is, it's, it, you know, I enjoy being able to help raise money to feed people or for whatever they're using it for. Now, they've used these candles and auctions for more than just um, the homeless and feeding people, uh, but mainly charity, mainly charity. Uh, the candles have been, I've made candles for baby showers as gifts. Uh, I have a lady that would um, get candles from me and she'd do 
um, put them in auctions for like um, expecting moms. They put them in a basket and they put a candle in there and, you know, the bubble bath and all that good stuff. Um, and they auction off that, that uh, basket to an expecting mom. Uh, in addition to that, um, I want to say, I guess the feature would be they smell great. I mean, you have everything from Ocean Breeze, all of the different ones I mentioned earlier. But in addition to that, you have your eucalyptus and your, jeez, uh, you have just so many. You have eucalyptus, you have lemongrass, um, you have reindeer poop for the holidays. Uh, you just have some great, 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 great smelling um, fragrances. It adds to aesthetic beauty. It, it's, it's really beautiful to, you know, put a beautiful candle in a room that matches your decor. And in addition to that, um, it, candles really help create a mood. And they're just soothing. And, man, I, I just absolutely love them. And I love making them. It's just so much fun. Okay, let me check and see what we have here. Oh, not quite yet. Oh, Lily, and you really, really did a number with that. Okay, uh, let's see. What else can I say about the candles? Besides the fact that I absolutely love making them, which I think I've said more than enough, right? Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and check again, and we're going to go forth and get everything poured and go from there, okay? And, I, well, let me just say this also. I, I think I talked about the creativeness, um, but, you know, making candles really allows you to express your creativity. I mean, you can mix fragrances. You can mix colors. You can do them in a tea light. Um, I've done the cute little fo uh, floating candles. You can do pillars. There's just so much you can do. Um, and it's, it's like I said before, it's just really therapeutic. Um, and they're just really fun to make. So, um, okay, I am going to get ready to pour. So you, when you start your, uh, turn your scale on, it needs to, of course, be at zero, okay? And then you just scoop out your, your wax here. And this is going to be a seven ounce candle. So I'm going to do seven ounces. Okay. Now, when you're pouring your candle wax in, in here, you know, it's okay. You, you don't have to worry about pouring it slow and all of that. You just get it mixed, you know. But when you're pouring the candle into the container, it needs to be poured very slow slow so that the candle will you know adhere to the glass the wax you won't have spots where it's kind of pulled away from it it also to me in my experience helps to burn better too okay so here we are i have seven ounces here and we are now going to add the bread which is the apple butter caramel, and I only want to do 0.7 um, in this. So the candle is going to be a 7-ounce candle, and it's going to have 0.7 um, ounces of fragrance. And you want to be really careful because one thing about the fragrance is that you can't pull it back the way you saw me dip the wax back. If you put too much wax in, you can always take that little bit out and put it back in. But once you begin to put the fragrance in, you cannot. <laughs> so if you put too much fragrance in with your wax, then the wax cannot hold the fragrance. And so you'll have an oily candle. It won't be nice and dry like this, okay? It'll be oily. Uh, and you don't want that. You don't want that. You don't want to waste the fragrance. Okay, and uh, then I take and I put my put my color in there, and then we have our cute little popsicle stick again. And normally at this time I turn off the scale. I mean, it's no need for it to be on. Okay, and so immediately I begin to just turn it 
all this color is so pretty, which you will see when I get ready to pour it into the glass. You will see. Oh, my goodness. This is so lovely. See, I'm, I'm telling you, it's just so soothing. It's so beautiful. I mean, it looks great. Oh, my goodness. It's so pretty. The other thing is once you pour... Uh, the the wax into the, the glass, you know, your final step in, in pouring your candle. Um, once it begins to get harder, you, you the color changes. So you, you really get to see once it begins to set what color it's going to be. Okay. So I think I'm pretty good. All of my uh, color has melted. And the other thing is you want to be very careful with your um, uh, color because it can stain, okay? And we're going to pour so you can see it. Let's see. Let's put, put you right there so that you can see how. And you want to pour it slow. Nice and slow. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. Gonna pour it nice and slow. I think this is the longest. The, this takes the longest because you're gonna be so tempted to just pour it in there and be done with it. But it's like an artist, you know, you're when you're creating that painting or that sculpture, you know, you you really want to take your time and, and really get into your piece and you're crafting it or how whatever you're doing. But to me, this is art. This is art. This is Lillian's art. Lillian absolutely loves this. Okay. Okay, so once you've done that you have poured your candle you always want to wipe out the container right away you don't want to leave that for your wax your uh, to get hard in there you want to clean that out so that you're getting ready for the next one and see see that pretty color look at that color on there it's just so pretty okay and then this is it's hot it's hot but this is the candle isn't that lovely? It's so pretty. Okay, so it takes probably, I want to say, about a good two hours for it to uh, get hard. Two to three hours for it to really get hard. Now, there is another step. Once it's hard, you know, it's all done, it's solid, you have to reheat the top of the candle. Um, so that it has that nice smooth look and then once you do that you trim that wick you cut that wick and uh like so and you have a candle how about that so uh i hope i've covered everything that i need to cover because i am so hoping that i get an a for this <laughs> And so I get all my points. I am really hoping I've covered everything. So, but anyway, Lillian Rice signing off. Thanks for joining me.